and the Prime Minister, of course, wastes money through missed opportunities. We, we could develop our resources. For example, we could be breaking dependence on the world's dictators. And let's talk about this for a moment. Today, he, he, his party shamefully voted to impose a carbon tax on the people of Ukraine. Yes. They, 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 have voted, they have voted to amend the existing Canada-Ukraine free trade agreement, which Conservatives ne negotiated, and which has been a success, to require that both countries have and promote carbon taxes, Mr. Speaker. Exactly the opposite of what the people of Ukraine need. They don't need a carbon tax when they're trying to fight and defeat a war. They need the ability to rebuild their economy, which takes energy. And that's why Conservatives will oppose any imposition of a carbon tax there or here or anywhere around. And you know what else they did? They voted against an amendment that would allow Canadians to build the arms that would allow Ukraine to win that war. We proposed an amendment to this update of the agreement that would have allowed Ukrainians to benefit from our incredible Canadian workers who produce munitions and equipment, and they voted no. So let's get this straight. They believe that the best way to counter Putin is with a carbon tax. We believe the best way to do it is by breaking European dependence on his energy sector and by providing and, and, and selling great Canadian arms to win the war. Canadians understand that the way that you help a country rebuild is by selling technology for energy. We proposed as well that we would provide both civilian nuclear technology and sell our civilian-grade uranium from Saskatchewan to power nuclear plants that would give emissions-free electricity to Ukrainians as they have to replace bombed-out uh, electricity plants. The Prime Minister did not include that in his deal because he doesn't want affordable energy. He doesn't want the jobs to come back to our resource sector. All he wanted was to try and save his carbon tax that's just how desperate he is, and in fact, how sick he is on this matter, Mr. Speaker. We all know that he was desperate to save his carbon tax, but for him to use the people of Ukraine as a pawn in his scheme to save the carbon tax is a, is a level of cynic cynicism that we didn't even expect from that Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker. When I'm Prime Minister, we will have a free trade agreement with Ukraine, and that agreement will not include a carbon tax. It will include the ability of us to provide clean Canadian nuclear and natu natural gas to have a strong energy superpower status for Canada and a superior Absolutely. And the, 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 the hypocritical members over there who, who, who pretend they support Ukraine, but then they supported the Prime Minister signing off. Sure. Signing off on a turbine to go from Montreal to Putin That's so that he could power his natural gas pipeline and pump that gas into Europe to fund his war. That's the Prime Minister's priority, to give Putin more money selling natural gas. Our priority, our common sense plan, turns dollars for dictators into paychecks for our people in this country. think this debate is going how they expected it to go. Their, their heads are all looking down, and rightfully so, Mr. Speaker. It will be a good moment for them to atone for the cynical approach they've taken on this and everything else, and frankly, the misery that they have unleashed in this country. This is the worst time in Canada's history. In, for, for the Canadian people, particularly for the middle class. But the good news is we have a common sense plan that will axe the tax to bring home lower prices, cap spending and cut waste to bring down inflation and interest rates, remove bureaucracy to build more homes so that once again people can afford to rent and pay their mortgages. This will be a country that works for the people who do the work, the common people, the common sense of the common people united for our common home. Your home, my home, our home. Let's bring it home.